Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Chez. I'm a pediatric neurologist and epileptologist in the Sacramento, California region. I was asked by the Lance Casteau Foundation to talk to you today about a medication called fenfluramine or fintepla and how it can be used in Lance Casteau Foundation and for use in treatment in epilepsy. What is it? Fintepla is an FDA approved drug for both Dravet syndrome and for use in LGS. And it works in a unique mechanism at a serotonin 5-HT2B receptor, which is different than typical seizure drugs, which work on things like GABA or uh, glutamate or sodium channels or potassium channels or calcium channels. So this is a unique mechanism and different than other seizure medicines in the past. It acts on the brain in a central serotonin receptor area in various parts of the brain. And it's uh, got a unique um, history and uh, other uh, mechanisms and side effects. So who is it for? It's for both patients who have Dravet syndrome and LGS with FDA approval. Off-label use, it may be beneficial in other similar convulsive epileptic encephalopathies, such as developmental epileptic encephalopathies of genetic origin or other orphan conditions. However, it's not FDA approved for those things as of yet. And you cannot uh, use it if you have significant known valvular heart disease. You also need to uh, register for a REMS program, which is a uh, fancy speak for saying that you have to register, that you have to be on a list to get this drug and agree to have safety testing done every six months with something called an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of the heart, just as a precaution uh, to make sure there are no valvular lesions that are caused by fenfluramine. This stems from a prior uh, history when fenfluramine, which has been around since the 1960s, was used as a diet pill in combination with something called fentermine, and it was known as fenfen in the late 80s and 90s, where much higher doses were used. And unfortunately, for some obese people, caused some valvular heart disease, which may or may not have been contributed, they thought, to the serotonin effect of the receptors on the heart valve, which are also in the brain. However, uh, at low dose, this doesn't seem to be a problem. And in over 1,500 cases studied through getting FDA approval and in the post-marketing uh, availability of fenfluramine in the United States and Europe, uh, fintepla has not been associated with any uh, known uh, prospective cases of valvular heart disease. And in 30 years of use in Belgium, there were no significant heart valve problems using it for Lennox Gastaut or predominantly Dravet syndrome at that time. Um, why should you try this? Because it has been shown in both Dravet syndrome um, and in Lennox Gastaut syndrome um, to have a decrease in convulsive and atonic tonic seizures. And it works by this unique mechanism. So it's probably not gonna interfere with your other seizure drugs. And we know that the low dose used in this condition and you can only go up to 0.7 milligrams per kilogram per day with a maximum of 26 milligrams total, no matter how much you weigh, is much safer than the older medicines where fen-fen diet pills used 80 to 200 milligrams for some patients. And uh, research data for the FDA shows a, rough, uh, a, a, a robust response over placebo. Here's some of the data from those trials showing reduction at both high and low dose of 0.2 or 0.7 milligrams per kilogram in Dravet syndrome with a greater than 70% or 50% reduction rate. And also looking at fintepla versus placebo, there was a 23% reduction rate in drop seizures and in some convulsive seizures as high as 45% reduction was reported. So what are your concerns or why should you be worried about this drug? Only on the rare chance that there could be a cardiac safety risk in theory but you would be doing proactive monitoring with echocardiograms and your doctors would catch this and would stop the medication if anything started to show up that would be a problem. To date, as I said, there has not been a problem in over 1,500 patients in clinical trials or more patients who have been getting the drug since it was released uh, post uh, FDA approval. Uh, it will not so much help atypical absence seizures, but definitely helps the more convulsive seizures such as uh, tonic, atonic, mixed tonic, atonic, and hemiclonic, myoclonic, and grand mal seizure subtypes, which are so common in Lennox Gesto and these other conditions. So again, it's an FDA approved product for Lennox Gesto. It's safe to use with other medications, and it offers a unique and uh, new way of treating these uh, seizures and is worth knowing to discuss with your doctor how it works and what it may do for your child. Thank you for listening.